One of the things that the rule book defines that isn't related to a specific game um, or game situation is that of consecutive hitting streaks, consecutive game hitting streaks, and consecutive game playing streaks. And so this is uh, rule, rule 1023. Uh, so let's take a look at, at what all these mean. You probably hear about these at some point during the season. So a consecutive hitting streak would just be for a player to come up and have hits in as many at-bats in a row um, as they can get, obviously. Um, what the, the rules state here is that there are some situations in which a player does not have to get a hit in order for his hitting streak to continue, which might sound confusing at first because it kind of does defeat the purpose of a consecutive hitting streak, but if you recall, there are certain things that count as plate appearances that do not count as an at-bat. Um, things like walks, being hit by a pitch, um, advancing um, to base because of obstruction, um, defensive interference, and a sacrifice bunt. Um, all of those things, they count as plate appearances, but they do not count as at-bats. And So the rules say that in this situation, if a player does get on base because of one of these things that then their, their consecutive hitting streak does not end. Um, and it, it makes sense because if, if a player is hit by a pitch or a player is walked, it's really not his fault. He has done nothing wrong. Um, so what, he should not uh, be punished, the rules say. Um, what would end the streak um, is if a player were to come up and would hit a sacrifice fly. So the flat sack fly does end the streak, um, even though it does not count as a time at bat. It still would um, would end the streak, and and obviously, as would anything other than these things listed. So if you you ground out, you fly out, strike out, those would obviously all end the. Um, consecutive hitting streak. So that's that's a hit every at bat. But what about um, a hit every game? And so basically, the to to maintain your your hitting streak, you have to have one um, plate appearance in that game. So you have to, or one at bat in that game. So you have to have actually played in the game. If you have an off day, maybe your coach says um, you can have the day off, your consecutive game hitting streak does not end um, just because you do not play that day. So so it's basically put on pause until the next day. You actually have to play in the game, um, have one plate appearance um, in order for it to count. And, and actually these same things here, these all apply down here as well. So if, if you do get into the game, um, whether it's it's one at bat or it's five at bats, and something in the, the top row here occurs, maybe you get walked five times um, in that game, your consecutive game hitting streak does not end because it the rules are essentially saying it wasn't your fault, so we're not going to punish you. Your streak uh, will continue. It will still be alive there the next day whenever you come back. Um, obviously things that would not apply in the consecutive game playing streak. So you, you do have to play in the game, um, in every team game, to maintain your consecutive game playing streak. Um, but how much do you have to play? Uh, so the rules say that in this situation you do have to um, you have to play. Uh, let's find the right color. You have to play um, either one half inning, one half inning uh, in the field, or or on defense, or complete one at bat. So you have to, and, and we'll get get into more specific about that about in a moment. But the 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 one thing that does not qualify um, is if you pinch run. So if you pinch run 
um, that's not enough basically it's it does not qualify you as playing have playing in that game you need to play at least one half inning or you need to complete an at bat and it says you need to complete in the at bat by either getting on base or by getting out um, so if you were to get up and maybe uh, hit a foul ball that hits you um, on the foot and you break your foot um, and you have to leave the game you do not complete your at bat and therefore um, your streak would end because if it, at least if you had to leave the game then your streak would end because you did not complete your at bat the only um, ex exception to this is that if you are ejected from the game before um, you can either complete your half inning in the field or complete your at bat then that does not cancel the streak the streak does continue so um, being ejected will keep the streak intact although it's kind of odd that being injured is not so so these these are the things that make you qualify for having played in that game pinch running um, does not and and you won't hear too often uh, people talk about consecutive hitting streaks but but the, these second two are more popular so of course um, the the um, record for consecutive games in a row where a player uh, got a hit was 56 games um, by Joe DiMaggio and he so he had um, 56 games in a row where he he had a hit and then as far as consecutive games played in this was uh, Cal Ripken Jr. who he played in uh, 2,632 games in a row, um, lasting um, a very long time from 1982. He played every game for the Baltimore Orioles, um, and his his streak finally ended in 1998. So um, those are both two two records that you hear a lot about in baseball that are um, both considered um, highly unlikely to ever be be broken um, again.